Hey, it's CG Stylus here. Um, gonna take you through a little bit of a how-to tutorial. I guess you could say I'm not gonna get real in-depth with uh, the Photoshop side of it. I'm just gonna show you how to composite it, um, put the layers together, uh, throw it in Adobe After Effects, and achieve um, a 3D style image on a 2D photo. Kinda like um, the beginning credits of uh, Wolverine um, movie. It's kind of a neat effect. Um, so basically I'm going to start out with this army uh, marine photo. Um, I have it broken down into layers. I have the soldier and the casings all in one layer. And then I have the rocks on a layer. And then I have the background on its own layer. Um, anything that you're going to want in a 3D type of, I guess, manipulative uh, style, you're going to have to put on its own layer. Um, and as you can see here, on the actual flat photo, the soldier kind of cuts off the rocks as well as the background. So um, I had, did have to paint in the other part of the rocks. Same with the background, I had to paint in as well. Adobe CS5 is really helpful with that. It allows you to content aware um, and it will fix it right up for you. So yeah, you save your image as a, a PSD file. Um, then you can go into Adobe After Effects, import file, uh, search for your photo. There it is, war, PSD file and you want to do it as a uh, composition and then open it and then uh, if you're on the CS5 double click here it'll bring up your picture as well as the layers and it recognizes the single layers and I've already named them so they're quite helpful this right here is a 3D uh, layer you're going to want to turn that on for all three layers and then you're going to want to create layer new camera. Uh, I do like the 35 millimeter um, standard settings and all, so I'll just OK that. Now, for the layer here, a soldier, I'm going to, I pretty much want him to stay where he's at. So I'm not going to manipulate him. Um, the background, I'm going to grab this. It's blue. It, you'll see the Z axis line up, or show up rather. Um, you'll click that, drag it down. So basically you're pushing it further, further in a 3D world. Um, and then you can grab these points, click, and then hold alt shift to drag it back out to its normal size fill the composition back to its normal uh, placement uh, the rocks I'm gonna they're further off than the soldier so I'm gonna have to push them into uh, the world just like I did the background so I'm gonna take it depending on how far I want it to go in the world and then I'm gonna click Alt shift drag it back to its original spot. Now you can kind of see um, you pick this, go up to this, it'd be the camera tool, um, go to orbit. You can kind of see the world and the setting as is that. I got the rocks a little bit in front of the soldier, I got the background way um, deep there. So once you have it like this, you're going to go to your camera layer, drop down the transform, uh, click points of interest and positioning while you're on the start frame. And 8 seconds is a pretty decent uh, time for this kind of effect. It, it's not too fast, it's not too slow, so it looks pretty pretty nice. Uh, make sure you're on position, you got the um, stop clocks uh, clicked. You're going to come back up here, 
do the track Z camera tool and you're gonna basically um, zoom into where you're gonna wanna go I'm gonna wanna go about right there and then I'm also gonna pan up here a little bit so and then uh, hit home kind of see the rough version of it and as you see it'll go right to where our markers are Now I'm going to shorten this comp, make sure I get my 8 seconds there, you can tell right here, I'm just going to shrink these all down. Once you got all that done, it's time to render it out. Go to composition, add to render queue. Um, and I've found that I do have to go to here and create this to the length of the composition, which is eight seconds. Keep it on best quality, full resolution. Um, come down here to the format options. And for some reason with animation, I get uh, really laggy playback so I picked the H264 uh, for my codec and keep it in quick time movie everything else the same um, millions of colors RGB uh, matted hit OK and, uh, and you just let it render alright once it's done uh, you can go ahead and hide uh, the windows here, programs rather. Um, I have my movie saved to my desktop. Uh, pull up the movie here. Put it on loop so you can see it over and over. And this is the final effect of it. See, it kind of gives you that nice 3D feel to uh, what was a 2D image. Thanks for watching.